Hey, just a short intro. Um, I took my boat out yesterday. Today is uh, Tuesday, December 6th. I took my boat out yesterday, Monday, just to run it a little while in the lake. I hadn't had it in the water for a while. And and uh, this young gentleman, friendly person, came up and asking about alligators. And I figured he was from somewhere else, out of town. So I told him about the airboat ride. And um, he walked off. And... Uh, we talked a little bit and then he walked off and I thought, well, hey, I'm going to go out for a short ride. Ask him if he wants to go. So I asked him. He came along and uh, I hope I don't butcher his name too much, but it's Opelik, uh from Finland. And uh, I think he enjoyed the little trip. Uh, just a couple of short videos behind this. This is just the intro. Hey, taking a little run on my boat today. And before I came out, I met this gentleman from Finland. And your name? Opelik. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to take a short drive. We're looking for alligators. Haven't seen one yet. And, uh, but it's a nice day out here. It's not, not that breezy. It's warm. It's like, what, 78 degrees, kind of, and maybe 79 degrees right now. And, uh, we just went to the weir and turned around. Let him drive just to get a little more cheeky thrill out of it today. And it makes it easier for me to hold the camera. <laughs> watching for gators around the side they will be sunning themselves because everything's cooling down yeah that'd be kind of cool this was our probably our best place to see one today we'll turn this off in the oh we're in lake washington today we're up at the north end by the weir by the dam and uh just taking a little short run i had to get the boat out i haven't had it out in a couple of months As soon as you cross your wake, turn left and then hard left. Let you do a figure eight. <laughs> uh, yeah, we went over our own wake. There you go, hard left. Turn left and hard left. Turn it tight, it's not gonna flip over. No, nah, two tons of boat, she ain't going nowhere. The worst that'll happen is get air in the prop and cavitate a little bit. Yeah. This gives you a little fun. Okay, now you can straighten out. Go back towards that dark, tall green tree down there. Yep. Just as well, it's just for the fun. <laughs> Put it on the video for you. Uh oh, I think we're running out of gas. Head back towards that white green thing. I mean the white square, pull the throttle back. I got extra gas, that's why I got the extra gas. Yeah, 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 I got, I made sure I had enough to get back. Could just be cavitating some too. Yeah, do you, do you think it will last there or do we have to refill it? I won't pour gas in, what I'll do is take the fuel line, I'll put it down in the tank and we'll run in that way. Yeah, we'll make it though, no problem. I just wanted to get out today and get the boat in the water. It's been a while. Yeah, Ed, you can see the dock now on the left of that white square. Just aim straight for that dock. We may have enough idling back, idle back just a little more, throttle back just a little more. There you go. If we run at this speed, we might have enough to get there without having the fuel. I didn't know how much I had in the tank. That's why I brought two more gallons. <laughs> I just put the tank back together and it had a bunch of water in it and stuff. So I put a brand new water separator filter on it last time I ran it a couple weeks ago and I haven't had it out here yet. And I wasn't quite sure how much I had left in the tank, even though the tank reads. There, reads a half. Reads a half tank, but the tank's sloping like this, the way the boat's leaning all the gas is in the back and it's making it look like it's got more than it does we got gas it might be just a little bit of water in the tank that's all okay. that's what i'm trying to run out is all the impurities in the tank as we were running it was flushing the gas back and forth and washing the impurities out yeah. so when i get back i'll just put a new fuel filter on eight dollars and it'll take all that crap out of the tank that's yep we'll make it back now we won't have to worry about fuel we got plenty once i saw the gauge <laughs> 